My name is Karis. I am 10 years old and I also have a brother, George, who is 13. We live with our parents in Derby. The thing about our family is we have a genetic condition called achondroplasia. All it means is our arms and legs are shorter than other people's. <laughs> and action. What do you think of being a dwarf? Well, that's our, what we are. Uh, that's our, our being. Um, we're not sort of five foot six uh, with muscles or six foot seven with muscles or whatever. Uh, we're small. With muscles. What do you say if... Uh, Child said, why are you small? We often hope to be able to say, well, everybody's born to be different and we're just born to be smaller than most people. Can you explain what achondroplasia is and how it affects our bodies? Achondroplasia is a flaw in the genes that make up our bodies. The main characteristic is the shorter arms and legs. The trunk of our body is normal length. It's just your arms and legs are a lot smaller. Yeah. All this bit's lowered to be my level, and the, over there the sink's been lowered. And what we've done, oven. yeah, and made sure the oven is like middle of the row so we can reach it, get out. And what we've done is put all the uh, the fridges and fridge, freezer, dishwasher, because they're all the what, same height. Um, we put that on one side. It'd be very dangerous to have a kitchen that's not adapted and standing on things all the time. It's bad enough standing on things to get out of cupboards. Our windows have all been lowered. Uh, because when I was growing up in my bedroom window, I couldn't see out of it, and it's it's not very nice. So we couldn't walk that to our kids. This is my window. I can see out of it. I can get a good view. I can easily get to my drawers, and I open. Same with these ones. My wardrobe's quite high to get things in, but I just use the stool. If you could change one thing about being a dwarf, what would it be? Mom? One thing I'd like to change is people's attitudes. People stare at us because we are different. At the end of the day, we do stand out. And the thing with us is it's all right just one of us. It's when there's four of us or maybe a few others. When you get seven and you have to be worried, you just turn around and say, Snow White's not with us at the moment. So <laughs> day off. Everyone stares at us. There's never a time where we just walk and no one stared at us. And I don't really like people staring at me. And then they whisper to their friends and then their mum and dad's look and it's really not nice. Some people ask my mum and dad why they're small. I think I've had a few little kids ask me. Has anybody asked you before? Yeah. Yeah, a few. But mostly it's just stone, and it's mostly just kids. Yeah. And how do you feel when, when that happens? Oh, it's still upset, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, we just, still just get really annoying. It would help our, us, us if the, everybody just stopped staring. Can you explain about your parents and how they came to have you? Both our parents are normal height or average height. We were just that one in 30,000 that had the achondroplasia gene. How do people get achondroplasia? It's something in the genes. Now, I was born with the achondroplasia gene, and it's just one of these things that happens. What will happen when we have children? If you got together with a tall person, the chances are it's just 50-50. The baby's either small or tall. The one thing does have its ups, because like you can win at limbo, it's easy, and musical bumps and like uh, rides, you have to, like some rides, they go, you have to be under this height to ride. We're under the height so we can ride. And um, when there's a giant crowd, I can get out easy, because like, I can crawl under people's legs. I don't know, I just wouldn't change it. Even someone gave me a million bu books, I wouldn't change. But I'd keep the million books. <gasps>
and cats. It's a wrap. A chicken tikka wrap. <laughs>